Disney should not be sued for Lane Gray's death. His parents were not investigated. Disney should not be sued for Lane Graves' death. His parents were not investigated. Thank you for tuning in to Laurel at the Black Political Buzz Network. We've all heard the horrifying news of little two-year-old Lane Graves from Nebraska. We've all heard about his horrifying death. His parents bought him and his little sister to, uh, bought him and his big sister from Nebraska on a family vacation to Orlando, Florida, to Disney World. You know how parents, working parents save up the money for a family vacation. And many parents of young children, they choose to bring their children to Disney World because Disney World is supposed to be a safe, fun, you know, family-oriented place to bring your family for a family vacation. For a family vacation, no one ever assumes or thinks that if you bring your family to a family-oriented, quote-unquote, safe place like Disney World, that your that part of your family may not return back home alive. No parent ever thinks about such horrifying thoughts as that because it's not supposed to happen at Disney World. This is not supposed to happen at Disney World, but it did. Lane Bryant, little two-year-old Lane Bryant, such a beautiful little boy. He's, you know, just gorgeous to look at. And I can imagine he was a blessing to his parents and also probably a blessing to his big sister, because he had a big sister who watched her brother be carried off by a seven foot alligator as he played in the water at the beach at a Disney World Resort. His, his father was nearby, his mother was nearby, his sister was nearby, and none of them could help him. The alligators were moving too quickly, too fast. And by the, by the time they found little Lane Graves' body, he was a corpse, a corpse, deceased. The alligators had killed him. He probably drowned. And then they, you know, probably mauled him. But they found his body. When his body was recovered, when Lane Graves' body was recovered, it was intact. It was intact, but he was, you know, probably bitten, you know, bite marks all over him, and he drowned. Thank God his parents were able to get his body back, but it's still very tragic and sad none the least. And my heart goes out to his parents. My prayers go to his parents. My prayers go to the parents of Lane Bryant's family. I mean, of Lane Bryant and his family. And my condolences, I give that to his family as well. But that's horrible, a horrible way for a child to die. But I believe that little Lane Graves is in heaven. Little Lane Graves, he's in heaven. And if I said Lane Bryant, I apologize. That was, you know, not intentional. But Lane Graves' parents should not be a, should not be suing Disney World. Now I know Disney World is going to settle with them out of court. They're going to settle. But let's look at the facts in the case. Disney, did, I'm outside y'all, Disney did have some signs up saying no swimming in the area where Lane Graves was wading in the water. Now I know wading is not swimming. Someone, someone's gonna say, well, wading is not the same thing as swimming. But in order to swim, you have to enter into the water, right? In order to swim, you have to actually get in the water. In order to wade in the water, you have to actually get in the water. So wading and swimming, they're not the same action, but it's the same, um, you gotta get in the water to wade, you gotta get in the water to swim. So the sign said no swimming in this area of the resort beach where they were, you know, where, where uh, the Gray's family were, uh, was uh, playing on the beach on that day. 
So while they were playing on the beach, there were signs up saying no swimming in this area. Now, maybe his parents didn't take that sign seriously or those signs seriously. They didn't pay attention to the warning signs saying no swimming. Now, I'm sure Disney had a reason for having those signs up there saying no swimming in this area of the resort beach. I'm sure it's because of the alligators and sharks and other dangers. That's why the signs were there saying no swimming. If it were my child and, I, and I'm not judging Lane, Gra Lane Gray's parents. I'm not judging Lane Gray's parents. I'm not. I'm not. But if it were my child and I saw the signs that said no swimming, I would not have allowed my child to play in the water at that part of the beach. I just would have I would have gone to an, an, another area of the beach where I didn't see those where I didn't see those signs or I would have not allowed my child to be that close to the water. I just would have had him playing in the sand in the sand, something like that. Or we would have went to went somewhere else where he could have played at without there being any signs up and where it appeared to be, you know, more safer. But because it's Disney World, his parents thought this is Disney World. You know, it's 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 Disney World. It's it's gotta be safe. It's a family oriented business. It's a family oriented resort. Millions of people come here every year to bring their families and their children. It's got to be safe. It's Disney World. Disney's thing, you know, Disney, children, fun, safe, family. Not danger. When you think of Disney, you don't think of danger. When you heard the word Disney, what comes to your mind? Alligators and death or family and fun. But I... I, but Lane's, Lane Gray's parents shouldn't be allowed to sue Disney. Now, I know Disney's going to settle with them. As I said, Disney, Disney's going to settle with them out of court, you know, to for damage control. For damage control purposes, Disney is going to settle with his family out of court. In fact, Disney has already put up barriers around the resort, the beach around the resort. They put up more signs, which means that they're... That's, they're, they're more than likely they're going to settle with the family out of court. They're probably going to also pay for little Lane Gray's funeral. They're going to do some damage control. Because it's a, it's a multi-billion dollar a year corporation. They had to, you know, do some form of damage control. What, especially by there being a little child, two years old, who died on their property. But let's compare this situation to, the, to what happened in Cleveland, Ohio, at the Cincinnati, at the Cleveland Zoo, at the zoo in Cleveland. It was at Cleveland or Cincinnati. It was Ohio. I just say Ohio. With the gorilla incident, with the black parents whose child fell into the gorilla pit. There was a, a black parent, a black mother and father. They had their four-year-old son with them visiting the zoo in Ohio. I, I, I don't know if it was Cleveland or Cincinnati, but it was Ohio. I know that for a fact. And there was a gorilla named, named Harambe. They called the, the gorilla Harambe. It was an adult gorilla, male gorilla. And the four-year-old little black boy fell. I don't know how he fell, but he fell into the pit. And the gorilla got a hold of the child and was dragging the child. Now, thank God the little boy wasn't killed. He wasn't killed. But the uh, zookeepers, the, you know, they had to shoot the gorilla. They had to kill him. And Peter, you know, the, the, uh, the uh, Peter out of California, you know, they, they love animals and protect animals, large organization, you know, um, they, 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 they protect animals' rights. They became very angry when the zoo had to shoot the gorilla. And then they wanted the parents investigated. And the police, they investigated these black parents. The police investigated these black parents because they were trying to say that these black parents intentionally allowed their child to fall into the gorilla pit so they can sue the zoo. I, I mean, isn't that stupid? They immediately jumped to, you know, uh, discredit this little black boy's parents, trying to, you know, dig up dirt in their past to say that they intentionally allowed their little boy to fall into the gorilla pit so they can have a reason to sue the zoo. But no one said this about Lane Gray's parents. No one is, I, I haven't heard about any kind of police investigation 
Elaine Gray's parents because they were not properly watching their child, which, you know, I don't know if they were or not. I wasn't there when it happened. I wasn't at the beach in Disney when it happened. I do wonder how the little boy got to the water's, the water's edge and the parents. I'm, I, I just wonder, was he being watched properly? Was little Lane Graves being properly supervised? The police in Ohio said that the black parents did not properly supervise their four-year-old little boy, and that's how he ended up in the gorilla pit. But I haven't heard the same argument about the white parents by police in Florida. No police in Florida said that the white parents were not properly supervising their, their two-year-old little boy, Lane Graves. And their parents and his parents are not being investigated. But he'll get a check, but their parents will get a check. The parents in Florida will get a check because little Lane Graves is dead. Unfortunately, little Lane Graves is dead. Now you're gonna say, Laura. Why are you always injecting race? I don't always inject race. I do not always inject race into every situation. I do not always include race or bring up race or inject race into every situation. I don't do that. The mainstream media does that. Laura doesn't do that. I don't do that. The mainstream media does. The police do. America does. America does these things. I don't do it. If you don't do it, then I couldn't talk about it. If you don't inject race into every situation, I couldn't talk about it. America and mainstream media and the government and the world of business. So, Lane Gray's parents, my heart goes out to them. I give them my prayers and my condolences. And I'm sorry that the little boy lost his life. It's very tragic and unfortunate. But they should not be allowed to sue Disney because they should have been watching Lane Graves more carefully and the signs were up saying no swimming. Now I know Disney's gonna settle out of court with them. I know that for damage control. But I don't hear anyone saying that Lane Graves' parents should be investigated as PETA, P-E-T-A, as PETA, was screaming and hollering about, you know, the gorilla being killed. I don't hear Peter saying anything about the alligators being killed in Florida. I don't hear Peter saying anything at all about the alligators being killed in Florida. But they were hollering about the gorilla being killed in, at, at the Ohio Zoo. I don't hear anyone saying to investigate Lane Gray's parents for not properly supervising that little boy at the beach. But they wanted, but the police did investigate the little black boy's parents in, in, uh, in Ohio. See, I didn't, I didn't inject race into this story. The mainstream media did, and the police did. And PETA, P-E-T-A, they did as well. That's all I want to say on this issue. You be the judge and come, and come to your own conclusion. Is there a dichotomy here? Is there a racial division here? Is there a comparison here based upon race? Both situations were bad situations. One child lived, one child died. One child's parents were investigated, the other child's parents were not. Thank you for tuning in to Laurel at the Black Political Buzz Network. Goodbye.